local. So for a problem like this, uh, we can't apply our cross multiplication like we did the same problem because we don't have a proportion. We don't have one ratio equal to another ratio. We have the sum of two rat or we have to complete the sum of our two rational expressions before we could use cross multiplication. So that's one way we could uh, do that is we could combine these two and then we could apply cross multiplication. However, a lot of times with rational equations, we just want to get rid of our denominator. So what we like to do is determine what our least common denominator is of every single one of our terms. Now this 4 has a denominator of 1. So we can see that the common, least common denominator between x minus 1, x plus 1, and 1 is just going to be x minus 1 times x plus 1. So therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply each term by x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now, it's also important to notice that x minus 1 times x plus 1 can also be written in the form of x squared minus 1. Now, I'm not going to do that for each one of these because I want you to visually see that x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 divide that, divides that out, leaving me with only 2 times x plus 1. And that might not be apparent if you already went to um, a uh, distributed form of uh, a non-factored form of a difference of two squares. Plus, you can see the x plus 1 and the x plus 1 divide out, and I'm left with 3 times x minus 1 equals 4. However, in this case, none of the x minus 1 nor the x plus 1 divide out, so I am going to uh, s multiply this through to give me x squared minus 1. All right, now we just need to apply distributive property. So therefore, I have 2x plus 2 plus 3x minus 3 equals 4x squared minus 4. Now I can combine my two terms, which is going to be, so I'll have 5x minus 1 equals 4x squared minus 4. Now I have a quadratic, so therefore I need to get all my variables to the same side so I can solve. So I'll add the 1 and I'll subtract the 5x. So therefore I have 0 equals 4x squared minus 5x minus 3. OK, so now what I need to do is I need to determine, you know, is this something that's going to be factorable, or am I going to have to use completing the square or the quadratic formula? So one thing I can do is use my AC method and do 4 times 3, which is a negative 12, and then negative 5. So to determine this is factorable, I need to say, you know, what two numbers multiply to give me neg negative 12, but then add to give me negative 5? Well, our only factors of 12 are 4 and 3. 6 and 2, and 12 and 1. And, and none, of those val none of those factors I can add up to give me negative 5. So therefore, it's not going to be factorable. All right, But that doesn't mean we can't have solutions yet. So now, let's go and take a look at our quadratic formula. And before we do the quadratic formula, let's just take a look at our discriminant. Because right? our discriminant is going to tell us what type of solutions we have to our quadratic. So in this case, remember, we have to be in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, our b is negative 5 minus 4 times 4 times c, which is negative 3. All right, so, negative, so when we simplify this, negative 5 squared is going to be a positive 25 minus 4 times, negative 4 times 4 is a negative 16 times negative 3 is going to be now a positive. So that's going to be minus 48, right? So now when you do 25 minus, um, that becomes a negative 25 minus 4 times a times c, negative 3. So therefore, we have 25 minus 48. Um, so no, that's going to be a positive, sorry. 25 plus 48 is now going to be 73. All right. So now we have this is going for the square root of 73 are going to be our zeros. Well, not yet. Now we need to go ahead and finish off the rest of our quadratic formula. So it's going to be b plus or minus our b opposite of b plus or minus the square root of 73 divided by 2 times a, which is 4. And I'm sorry, opposite of b would be 5. 
So two times four is just gonna become eight. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, our final answers, our, our, our values for x are gonna be opposite of five plus or minus the square root of 73 all divided by eight. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you solve this quadrat or this rational equation. Thanks.